Do not say that you have nothing left. Brothers and sisters, you have something with you that God can use to bring you out of that bondage, to bring you out of that affliction, to bring you out of that pain, that suffering, that misery. Brothers and sisters, you have to look around you. What do you have? Look at the incidents of uh, Elisha and the widow. The widow cried out to the man of God, saying that the creditor is coming to take my two sons into slavery. And Elisha told the widow, what do you have? Notice that the widow thought that she has nothing. She thought that the, what she has is uh, equivalent to nothing. But on, 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 on realizing that she had oil in a jar, and Elisha used that oil, he told the widow to go out and borrow empty vessels. And after that, she was instructed to shut her um, uh, house, the door of the house. And for those that have read the story, you know that uh, God does uh, what she thinks is impossible. And she has a lot of oil. And she's told to go and sell that oil and pay her debts. So my brothers and sisters, God can do what you think is impossible. But what do you have? Some of you have something that is placed in you. A gift in you. That you have despised yourself. You think you have nothing. Some of you have a skill. And you think it is nothing. You think that you cannot create, cause an impact to the world. But the world awaits for you. Scripture says, creation eagerly awaits for the children of God to be revealed. The whole creation is awaiting for you. They are waiting for you to be revealed. So my brothers and sisters, what do you have? Look around you. Even when you think that you have nothing left, you have something. God has placed in you something that is different from the rest of the world. You are very unique. You are not the same. Yes, you may be uh, coming from the same country. In fact, you may be in a family of five, a family of three. But each and everyone in your family, you are unique from them. There was a reason as to why you were placed in that family. It was not a coincidence. There was a reason as to why you were placed in that country. You would have been born in another continent. But God located you. He decided to put you in that location for a reason. In that terrain, that environment. Some of you were not put, placed in environments that are in like jungles or uh, deserts. You were placed in an environment that is suitable for you. So my brothers and sisters, before you complain about what is happening around you, before you start talking, have you heard what God has for you? Because eyes have not seen. No ears have heard what the Lord has prepared for those that love him. So there is more to you. Do not think that it is the end of your journey. Do not think just because you lost that court case, it is the end of you. Do not think just because that relationship is dying, it is the end of it. We serve a God that does the impossible. If he has been doing it in the past, then he will do it even right now. So do not limit God, brothers and sisters. God has placed something in you. So use what you have. Well, I hope this message has been a blessing to you. I hope it has encouraged you. Now listen, these are messages of encouragement. 
I hope it has edified you, brothers and sisters, that no matter what you are going through, God is with you and he has blessed his power in you. He has given you gifts, skills, made you unique and different. No wonder he calls you the salt and light of the world because salt is unique. Light is unique. When you are in a dark room and you flip on the switch, light will shine out. You'll be able to see in the dark. Well, until next time, be blessed.